All right, so we're going to be going to Feldos versus Icons, round two of this August 2015 1v1 tournament. I remain joined with Feldos. So, um, okay. just getting into this. Fair warning, we are rejoining a bit late, so we're going to be going through a bit of Dot Wars first before we're getting into the actual game. I see a very strong play from Feldos already with uh, three groups, three uh, armies, four armies now. Multiple groups of Raider and then a very aggressive expansion. Yeah, so it looks like we have shield from Veilthos over to the south center and shield from Icons in the north center. Another drop in, ma another match to drop in on that shield versus shield. And yeah, Veilthos, wow, they're expanding quickly. And I thought, well, I guess Kasha wasn't expanding that quickly. But yeah, this is how quick expansion goes. Wow, Veilthos taking the entire southwest, southeast. Icons taking the northwest. Seven north minutes, corner. he has half the map. That's nice. Yeah, no kidding. That is expert play. I mean, Felthos taking out a bunch of constructors there over to the northwest. And then Harassing Overcave caught up. We are now seven minutes into the game. Felthos with half the map taking out Icon's northwest expansion, which was not that well defended. And also, this, okay, the northeast is better defended. Icon's a bit more prepared for that. But still, Ikens has not really expanded all that much. I mean, he taking has absolutely some no expansion. income. He is well, limited to two sets of maxes. Well, they had three, but one of them got destroyed in the northeast. Yeah. Felthos, on the other hand, really not taking any damage at all. Now so it's it looks his like turn Ikens... to uh, build, oh. do, the, do the dropship thing. Spider jump. Yeah, Ikens switched over. To, well, not switched over, but added spiders, added some venoms and hermits into their army. I don't oh, think. Oh no! What's the switch? It's full on switch. No, no, uh, Feldos wastes a group of raiders. Yeah, that's what Icons needs at this point, but Feldos already going for gunships, going for the Banshees, and setting up just, okay, just a Banshee harassment. Still, there's not much to deal with that. I, I mean, the Venoms will help, but there's no Redbacks. And Feldos pretty much not leaving any opening for Icons to attack from. Uh, I'm not a big fan of, uh... Benchy rates in these small numbers. Oh, well, and uh, against against Venom too. Wow, that Venom is working far better than I thought. Oh, the Banshee's now splitting apart. Yeah, but he cannot really. If you have these light defenses, all the defenders and LCs, you need more Banshees. Otherwise, it's too expensive. Yeah, and then Razors will be coming up fairly soon too, most likely. Not to mention Red. I mean, Redbacks could be coming up. No, never mind. Uh, Just... More is coming. He has Morris. eight. More bandits, yeah, but no redbacks. I mean, uh, Benchies. Yeah, the Benchies. Yeah, the Benchies. You can do a lot. Unfortunately. Like Mutalisks. Ah, oh, Icons. Yeah, no kidding. Uh, he wastes Just again. Just like them. Yeah, Icons losing another group of bandits over to the southeast. But more to the point, think... the Benchies grouping up. There's six of them to the northwest. About to be seven. I think Feltas is going to attack at this point. Icons way behind the economy. And they're starting to rebuild, but. It's not really working. I mean, I can yeah, it's working two enough times the, the economy. Uh, well, I think this he might mop up all the turrets here, but there's not much economy to... <laughs> yeah, no. fucks there. One of the best things to uh, mop up small defenses. I don't know. I really agree with this, though. I mean, the thugs... The thug shield's surviving a lot. It's blocking for the hermits, which are dealing the real damage. Oh, here comes the brawler. And yeah, no uh, anti-air. Oh, uh, it's coming. No, it's not. That's the thing. There's actually no anti-air being built. There's no tarantulas being built. There's no. There haven't been oh, any vandals. Aren't those racketeers? Uh, massive anti-air units? Anti-heavy units. They're working against the brawler well enough, but... I mean, they, they can take out Lycos, Thunderbirds, brawlers. Yeah, I mean, they so... only need one hit to disarm, I think. Yeah, against oh, yeah, the, the brawlers, they're the fine, but there's no killing them. Like No, but you don't have to if they're not shooting at you. True, but at this point there's three brawlers and only three racketeers. So that's not working out. And the racketeer is... He's not microwing. He's not setting each racketeer on one brawler. He could do that. Yeah. I thought that overkill the, prevention, the, though. That's weird. Okay, well, that's... That's two brawlers. Pretty much locked down. One brawler left. I still think dedicated anti-air is going to be needed. And Banshee's over to the northeast as well, taking out the northeast expansion. I yeah. cannot really expand. There's too much harassment going around this map. 
I mean, Iken's only hope is that this attack manages to penetrate through to Feltas's everything. Hey, Main base, I guess. Scorpion. Already? Yeah. Holy crap, yeah, there done. is. Over to the south of the map. Feltas has a Scorpion built up. Now wow, this... Uh, one of those spider dropships. Uh, strider dropships. Vindicators. Yeah, there's not like that's metals. I don't see that being built up. Why not? I mean, I could see it happening. I just don't see it happening right now. Feldas isn't doing it. They could. They just aren't. Anyway, Rakhtir's uh. managing to do their job well enough. Interesting very... game. All right, so Ikens. Ikens is making something happen. He mopped up the center of the map. Yeah. Now we should move to the left or to the right to uh, stop and kill all the expansions, just to no. get even. I agree, but it looks like they're going for the south instead. Pushing south forward center. into that base is, there's no point in attacking a base when you're behind. Take all the small victories you can get, like small expansions. Yeah, especially the west side. The southwest is open. Uh, and it also provides no, a nice kill into Ah, and the racketeers are getting, going down too. I could have kept that army alive a lot better. Yeah, it's just... Vandals are coming up, so we are finally getting some dedicated anti-air to deal with this. Mostly, I think, to deal with the Banshees. The Brawlers are okay, but... <laughs> no, he's yeah. making a crow. More Striders. It's funny to see how... Uh, oh, wow. The game scales up from uh, Raiders to Shield Bolts to multiple Striders in these 1v1s. Yeah, Bandit Planes is really good for that, too. Yeah. Just because it, there's enough room that you can actually set up yourself that the terrain matters, but the economy is powerful enough that you can just build up. And I can, not even seeing the Scorpion, already throwing in the towel. I mean, that was a last ditch desperate move, so I'm not surprised they're throwing in the towel. It's just, that was a desperation play they had there. I mean, it's a bit, it sucks for them to have anti-air, especially to deal with the Banshees. That was the biggest problem. Those Banshees wiped out the economy so many times, Icons did not have any chance to stabilize at like 40 or 50 metal per second. And that's what they needed. They had managed to get there, stabilize somewhere around that area, and then build up anti-air to deal with Feltas' army. They would have gone through. And Icons, the game, what was the metal income? Oh, wow, yeah, Icons had less metal income the entire time. No excess, though. For the most part of the game, there was basically no excess. But yeah, Failthoss just had a solid advantage that entire game. That was just expansion, really. That was all about the efficiency of the expansion. Failthoss totally had that. Yeah, he was a lot faster. He knew how to play that map, apparently. Oh, Some yeah. of these maps in 0k or in spring in general, you just have to kind of know how to get through the first 5 to 10 minutes of the game. What the best paths and our expansion yeah. routes are. And if you don't know it, you're already at a big disadvantage. Not Wait. like StarCraft where every map is standardized and you can do the same thing every time. Well, it is now. It wasn't at first. But yeah, it has been for the last few years. I mean, StarCraft 2, they always were. StarCraft 1, it was... It took a while to figure out the standard. And after that, yeah, it was that was then done. So it mm. looks like Clone and Capricious and Orphelius and Sigaro are still going on. No, they just finished. Oh, they did? Did yeah. they? Okay, yeah. So it looks like Sigaro and Orphelius might still be going on, but it's almost done. So we're just about on round three. Capricious beat uh, Clon. I'm actually uh, interested in watching this replay now. Wow. I mean, I'm not totally surprised because Capricious is a strong player. Yeah, I remember him, yeah. Oh, yeah, Capricious. I casted some games of his of him years Wait. ago. Years ago. Really? I didn't realize he was in here that long. Uh, it was versus Daywalker, if you remember him. I've heard of Daywalker, but Daywalker is before my time. Yeah, he was one of those VA semi-pro for as far you can be a professional at <laughs> the Annihilation. Right, yeah. But, uh... He, he, was a good bunch. Daywalker and Randy. Okay, Randy came back at some point, so I did see Randy. 
But yeah, so no, Capricious is... Yeah, I guess they came back and came really strong, because they... I didn't realize they were that old of a player, I just thought they were strong. So yeah, good job, Capricious. So right now, I think... Yeah, Felthos and Capricious are currently leading, with Kshatra and Ikens a little bit behind them, although it's tied all around, so yeah. See how this goes. Looks like we have... What else is there? Ophelius and Sigio Row are still playing? Yeah. Alright, well I'm gonna take advantage of this to get some more tea. One sec. see. So I guess the next match are going to be... Well, Failed House and Capricious. I want to... That'll probably be a match that's going to come up or something like it near the end, and I want to cast that then. I want to cast... Who have I not casted? Hmm. Like, who is likely to be next? Probably be Sigaro and Stuart will be next. Hmm. All right, we are apparently done. Looks like Sigaro and Orphelius have finished up, so now it is whoever's next. Whatever the next round is. Let's see, you haven't we cast it yet? Um, All right, there we go. Icons. We have. Clone. Yeah, let's see. You were. No, we did see. Or we sort of saw Stewart, but we also saw Orphilius. Clone and. Okay. Kshatra and Sprang. Okay, because let's do it. Because I haven't really had a chance. Oh no, we just did Kshatra and Nemor. Hang on, let me think. I don't want any more. Okay, I think Clone's gonna take that. Failed us first, Capricius, the number one and two. I kind of want to do that at the. I want to do number one and two at round five. <laughs> <laughs> I want to wait. Like, I think now is probably a good time for someone like Sigaro or Stewart to get some time in the sun. No, I think Stewart versus Ophelius is a bit one-sided. It is. Icons versus Sigero, I have no idea, is probably also one-sided. So I'll do them in round four. I'll probably end up being Stewart versus Sigero in round four. So we can do Xatria versus Sprang or Feldas and Capricious. Wait, Sigero beat Orphelius? Whoa. What? Sigero beat Orphelius. You know what? Actually, I am going to. I think I do want to see Sigero versus Icons. Okay. Raphaelis is 0-2, wow. Yeah, I'm surprised. I think he has higher elo than... Rust, well, most any... likely. Yeah, he has the highest... Apart from Feldas, I think he has the highest elo. Yeah, this is a bit surprising. But yeah, what is the tournament, though? Or what is the tournament? <laughs> Please. I know what the tournament is! That's what I've been casting this entire time! What is the map? Okay, it's Ravaged. Awesome! Quality map. I mean that. I like Ravaged. I mean, we were talking about StarCraft maps. Because it Did is... Did a uh, smurf of one of the other uh, Romanian players? I don't think so. Level 43, if it's a smurf, it's a pretty dedicated smurf. I mean, did he have a rename, or do I know him under a different name? I don't know. Check their details. Apparently, they actually only have like 1800 1v1 LO. Well, eight. <laughs> and they've been here for a couple years. Okay. 
I haven't been here for a couple of years. That makes sense. I actually haven't really seen them much either, quite honestly. Looks like they mostly play co-op versus bots in team games. Well, that wow. will teach you how to make turrets and nano turrets. Yeah, there's that. And win the game. Alright, so 